Leon, we're dealing with a situation where the political overlay is raising questions about the debt ceiling debate, and we can get into that, and people are, are trying to figure out what that means uh, economically and, and for the market. Your expertise is in the S&P, in the market, and market calls, and you've been warning about a recession for a long time. You've been saying that this is a self-induced uh, error of monetary policy and woes. And I'm curious, first of all, whether you're getting more optimistic about returns because of the declines that we're seeing and because of perhaps people waking up to the reality of the potential for recession, as you've been saying it. Well, my view has been uh, in, as follows. I tell the story about the pharaoh. I told this almost a year ago on TV. The pharaoh, excuse me, had a dream. The dream was interpreted by Joseph. It was in the Bible. His dream was we're heading for seven lean years after seven fat years. And that is my view. I think the 4,800 on the S&P will be a high that will stand for quite some time. And then I kind of analogize that to my own career. I got my MBA from Columbia Business School on January 31st of 1967. I had a six-month-old child at the time. Now he's a healthy 56-year-old. Uh, I had no money in the bank. I had a student loan to repay. They were not forgiving student loans. And I couldn't afford a vacation. I went to work the very next day. I joined Goldman Sachs for my 25-year career on February 1st of 67. The that was 1,000. In 1982, it was 1,000. And so I, I, and, and I made my money picking stocks. I, you know, I'm not selling anything to anybody because I'm a retired money manager, and I'm turning 80 years old in a few weeks. <laughs> But I would say that uh, uh, I think we're in a stock picker's environment. I expect the returns of the S&P to be very pedestrian. I think what's going on in the world is negative for price earnings ratios. And I want to make this point. If the government is looked upon to moderate the downside risk, the government has every right to moderate the upside return. Okay? We this CHIPS Act, you know, I think Intel sits in a balance sheet of $50 billion. They don't need the government to build plants for them. They can do it themselves. I'm, I'm in favor of private sector solutions. And uh, the extent that the, the political system is getting corrupted, uh, that's negative for capitalism long term. 